It's just nice that we have somebody in this town now who devotes her life to, uh, you know, this genre. We're also going to talk to the organizer, the festival founder, and also the programmer for Cinema Arte. And she's one person. Uh, the festival doesn't have any sponsor. A couple of years ago, we dropped off a promo package at Virgin. No, we threw it away. Good luck with your festival. You can't have our movie. She is not deterred in the least by all of the facts presented as to why it would be difficult to do it. There's all kinds of little things that pop up that could completely ruin everything. Where is uh, Kayla? I'm going to kill her. Like, I had the one woman that ran out crying, and then um, another guy got taken away in an ambulance. I was just witness to one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> You come and see Cannibal Holocaust tomorrow night at midnight. You get a Cannibal Holocaust call. My stepfather and I both have really volatile tempers, and this would lead to some massive, massive fights. We told her no every five minutes, but she ignored it. I'm locked up. It's my birthday, and I'm like in a cell. And then I went to live with my aunt, and then she was a crazy Christian fanatic who actually tried to exercise me. The fact that I'm a fucked up teenager as an excuse to continue being a fucked up teenager, you know, like that's not gonna wash. Even though she's a sweet natured girl, she's a total fucking freak. Because you get to be the first people in Canada to see this restored edition of Cannibal Holocaust. It's made from the original negative, so it's gonna be fucking beautiful. <laughs> Me and Anthony picking up Mr. Udo Kier, and uh, I mean, shit, the guy knows Madonna. You know you're going to be in for mucho surprises, lots of skin and sex and violence. The only person who hates it, of course, is Jason. I'm sort of the guy that drives her around and uh, listens to her uh, cry. I watch a lot of movies in Italian. I'm getting separated. So I wouldn't say that the festival ruined my marriage. She really respects the films, which is far and few between these days. It was realistic, it was gritty. It was like in the same vein as something like Taxi Driver to me. More and more forcefully say, that's not what I'm doing. It's not what my festival is about. This festival, Sydney Morte, she, she was told by many, many, many people it couldn't happen. I think I just completely lost my audience. I just lost them. They're not coming back. I don't know what to do. Oh, a festival like.